This quick guide is going to show you how you can check how much space you've got left on your Fire TV stick or Fire TV cube. So what you want to do is you want to go across to the settings cog just over there on the right. Go down to applications, middle button, and then go down to manage installed applications. And there you will see, as you can see there, I've got 2.9 GB of 5.34 GB available. And you've got a nice little graph there, which tells you the white part of the graph tells you how much you've used and the gray part is the amount unused. So I'm okay at the moment, but what I would say as a guide is if you've got less than one GB available or less than 20% of your capacity available, then it's probably time to start cleaning up your fire stick or cube. So the first thing to do is to go up to automatic offload and make sure that's switched on. Then go back down to manage installed applications. And then once you go in there, you should see it says sort alphabetically. The, your best bet is to highlight sort and sort by app size. And then what you'll notice is the apps that are taking up the most amount of space will be at the top of the list. And the apps that are taking the least amount of space will be at the bottom of the list. Now have a look, go through these apps and have a look at the cache. If the cache is taking up quite a bit of room, then all you need to do is press the rewind button on the remote control to clear the cache and then just confirm. If you find that you don't use this app at all, then what you can do is you can press the play pause button to uninstall the app and then that frees up all that space. Or if you think to yourself, well, perhaps I will use it in time, so I don't really want to get rid of it, then highlight the app, go into it, and you might have an option there to offload the app. Now, offloading takes the app off your Fire Stick, but leaves the settings and the data on your Fire Stick. So you can select offload and there you go. It says offloading this app will free up this amount of storage. The app will be offloaded from all non-child profiles. Are you sure you want to continue? So middle button to continue and that offloads the app. So it's still there. It still is actually available. So if I go into my apps on here, you you will see the app that I've just offloaded. There you go. It's there. It's got a little cloud next to it, which means the actual app isn't uh, no longer installed on the Fire Stick, but it is installed on the cloud. So if I want to get it back at any time, all I do is I just highlight the app from my apps, middle button on the remote control. And then what it will do is it will automatically download it again from the app store and then it will launch that app. So as easy as that. So that's quite a good idea. And as you can see there, mine's just downloading. It's going to install. And once it's installed, it will open up again and it'll be like the app was never uninstalled. And there we go. We're back up and running with that app. Now, you might find there are some apps when you go in there, you can't uninstall them. You can't offload them. They're usually apps that have been supplied with a Fire Stick by Amazon. The best you can do is full stop and clear data or clear cache or do both. Now, bear in mind, if you clear the data, it means it's going to wipe any settings that are associated with that app. But if you don't ever use that app, then it's pretty much OK to clear both the data and the cache to free up that little bit more space. So there you go. I hope you like this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, have a look in the description down below. Have a look there. I've got my Amazon shop down there. If you're looking for a new Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube or Fire Stick accessories or even a new VPN, there's links down there too. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to spend more time researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos whilst you're here that you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might be interested in, then please share these videos on your social media timelines. If you want to check me out on X, formerly known as Twitter, my handle is at CW. T -E -K. Or if you want to look at my website, my website address is cwtek.co.uk. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.